In the last video we started uh, our WooCommerce theming journey. So what we did is we actually installed WordPress, uh, then we installed WooCommerce and I showed you how you can uh, set up your theme so that the WooCommerce components show up on your page. And in this video I'm going to show you something that I forgot the last time. Uh, we are going to set up some dummy content and I'm going to show you how you can override WooCommerce's uh, default template files. Okay, so first of all let me just show you something I forgot the last time. So if we go into our uh, dashboard, WordPress dashboard, we can see this message right here. So your theme does not declare WooCommerce support. And I forgot to, to show you this uh, the last time. Of course, uh, your WooCommerce site would work even without this, but it's just a way to tell WooCommerce, okay, so my theme is supporting uh, WooCommerce, uh, get this message out of my way. So to do that, you just go to your functions file so we go to WP content themes Olympus and of course whatever your theme is called and you go to your functions functions file let me just make this a bit bigger and then you just paste in this code so you add this action after the setup theme WooCommerce support and add theme support WooCommerce it's pretty similar to something like adding a menu support or uh, adding a post thumbnail support to your theme. So if we save this, uh, go to our dashboard right now, refresh this page, as you can see this message is now gone. Next thing we want to do is actually set up some dummy content. So to do that let's first see our site. So if we go to woo.dev and then we go to shop we can see that we don't have anything here. So no products were found, matching your selection and so on. This is because we don't have any content, uh, any products actually. So you could go to products and add a product and add a few products so that you can work with your templates. But the bet better way to do that is to actually install uh, WooCommerce's dummy content. So WooCommerce comes with the dummy content, but uh, for some reason uh, that dummy content doesn't work well very well. So you would get uh, all of your uh, product details, but you wouldn't get uh, your images. For some reason, uh, in this version of WooCommerce, which was installed, I don't know it. Today is February 3rd and uh, when I tried to install dummy content on test site uh, the images didn't load because the URLs for the images uh, were wrong in that dummy content.xml file. So I did a little bit of searching and on WooCommerce's GitHub page uh, you have this new dummy data.xml which uh, is going to import our products and as you can see it's been uh, edited uh, two days ago. So <laughs> I think they just changed this and maybe when if you're watching uh, this video a little bit later so a month from now maybe this dummy uh, data works right now but for me it didn't so these are the steps I took to correct that so I'm just going to go to this page of course the link is going to be in description click on dummy data.xml uh, you can check this row and I'm just going to copy everything from here and then I'm going to go to my plugins WooCommerce and then you have this dummy data and you have this dummy data.xml so I'm just going to delete everything from here and paste uh, <coughs> the data that I found on their github page save this and now we're done so now we should be able to get the images because in this versions uh, this version the uh, links or URLs to the images are actually correct so we just go to our <coughs> dashboard and if you have 
a clean install of WordPress uh, or you didn't use this import tool just yet you would get a prompt to install a, a WordPress importer so I'm just going to click on WordPress and it's going to offer me an option to install WordPress importer I'm just going to install it now okay so this is uh, installed now you just go activate plugin and run importer okay and now we have to choose a file so I'm just going to go choose file then I'm going to go to my development folder public uh, woo and I'm going to go to WP content plugins WooCommerce and then you go to dummy data and select this dummy data.xml file open it up upload file and import I'm just going to set the user for this import to be me and uh, download and import file attachments you check that box and then you click submit and wait for a few minutes uh, for everything to download and for uh, WordPress importer to create your dummy content So this actually took a little bit of time for me and uh, it displayed an error so no data received error. But what I did after that I just run the importer once again and as you can see it says already exists. So this uh, installing dummy content is not perfect right now but it actually works. So if we go to products you will see that you would have all of these products in your shop right now and if we go to our uh, page so would dev uh, slash shop refresh it we should see our dummy content installed on this page and it works so this is great the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can override WooCommerce templates so we need to override WooCommerce templates so that we can tem template our shop ourselves. So WooCommerce templates con uh, consists of your uh, display for your products, display for your categories, checkout pages, everything, emails, everything. So if we go to our dashboard and then go to WooCommerce and system status, and down here as you can see it says templates and overrides nothing so you can override file by file so you don't have to override all of WooCommerce's files but you can just override the ones you want uh, since I don't want uh, for every episode of this tutorial to go to WooCommerce and then override the template we're just going to override all of the templates and then just work from there so to do that you would just go to your uh, WP content I'm using forklift file manager right here so WP content plugins WooCommerce and then you have these templates right here okay so these are all the templates that WooCommerce is using to display uh, stuff on our page so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to in this other tab go to WP content themes Olympus or whatever your theme is called and then I'm just going to create a new directory right here and call it WooCommerce okay and then you just copy everything from here to your WooCommerce directory and that should be it if we go to our uh, file uh, actually editor we have this WooCommerce folder right here and we have all the templates so we overridden all of the templates that uh, WooCommerce is using and if you go to this page once again so WooCommerce system status refresh that page uh, why didn't it say that my templates are overridden So it must be some caching thing or something like that. I just went to D 
this page and then return to system status and all of the templates are shown as overridden right now. So that's it. Now we have all, all of the files that we are going to be working with uh, for our WooCommerce theme and uh, we don't have to go always go to plugins and then just uh, copy one file over and so on. We have them all right here and then we can start templating and that is actually what we are going to be doing in the next episode. Okay, so this is it for this video guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content I put out. Uh, also remember all of the code used in this video is going to be available for you on GitHub. Uh, link will be in the description below and also a link for this right here. So that's it for this episode. I will see you in the next one.